All right, all right, we're back with Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's see if Pearson made some breakfast first. Probably not. He's probably just Sam, doing it. I can use the company. You all right, John? Morning. I like hanging out with the camp members. I think we've made some enemies. <laughs> you think? Any news? Nothing you don't already know. All okay, right. well, keep me posted. Take care. So I think we made some enemies. No shit there, buddy. <laughs> no shit. We're basically screwed. Let's hope for a better day. Ah, long day ahead. Things are kind of a mess, ain't they? What do you want me to say? Another day. Oh. Morning. Coffee, coffee, please. Thank you. Susan. What do you think we should do about Dutch? He has a lot of pressure on him. Don't forget all he's done for you. I ain't forgotten a thing. Yes, Arthur. Good morning. Sadler. Morning. How you doing with all this? Well, look around you. Yeah, I feel you. Just try to stay strong. All right. Hey, Mary Beth. Don't you have anything warmer to put on? It's like it's be a temperate right. forest. I feel like a prisoner here. Yeah, all right, there's Swanson. Hello, sir. <coughs> Reverend? <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in... Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York? We are going to go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're going to get a boat. We're going to get on a river, and we're going to go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion, and then we disappear. We need more commotion. One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? Sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Um... Pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. And try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can oh, get more trouble. More horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We've got enough folks coming after us without adding an army to the 
Well, this. Thank you for this. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course. What will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favor. He's a vile man. He had his red... Take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Well, we'll see what we can do. I do not want to go to Why war with the U.S. military. in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill so you want to get them all killed? With one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell. And we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. You should start telling people the plan there, Dutch. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right. Let's head out. Get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, aboard her. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Mm -hmm. Sure. Let's hope it goes as planned. Good luck. Bit further. So we'll stop. Quietly. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Gotcha. Well, I think he's dead. I think I just snapped his neck. <laughs> a 
I'm gonna go smoke, all right? Be back in a bit. Somebody up top. Maybe I can climb up and grab them. So ladder. We can go higher than that. God damn it! No, I'm out. All right. Okay. Can we do anything with this? Okay, we're just putting dynamite on it. The first idea how this anchor works? Just blow it up and burn. Come on, Arthur. Let's try. The yep, let's okay. try to get him. Stay up. Over here. Come on. All right. Come on. You good? Back to shore. Those other horses are close behind. Come here. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur... W oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. 
And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out at Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rageful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's... I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Okay. Got a stranger mission here. What is what is that? Oh, oh, those uh, those those crazy people. Rain's fall is up there. Well, let's see what this is all about. Van Horn. I like the font. Holy shit. Is that a dead horse? What the hell was in that drink? Place seems rather poor. Where's for the wear? And now Everything the two okay? of you have betrayed me at once. Imagine saving people, Good taking on. them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery. And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stop. Dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician I... has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. Oh, fuck it, he... No, Bertram, Bertram, Bertram! Woof, woof! Bertram, put the nice man down! Do something, you only eat him! Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Oh shit, 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 shit. Big guy. I don't feel right beating up on a disabled man. Oh shit, shit. He's strong Oh! Not nice! Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But 
He's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's gonna make it all better. But first, you gotta tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? The Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram like sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Okay, that was unique. Give me my hat, please. Uh, heard near done, I think. Where, where's my, where's my, where's my, there you are, boy. Ah, uh, Micah is right over there. You know what? There's a hotel. Let, let's, let's get Arthur some sleep. It's been a long night. Who do I speak to? Do I go downstairs? Hello, sir. Yeah, welcome. Um. Oh, this is the post the office. Thanks, Mister. Where do I uh? Inspe oh, this is new. can't see a thing. Yes. Oh, my horse wandered all the way over there. Time to go, boy. He's close. God, how I want to shoot him. Ah, there he is. Old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. 
All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy. <laughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Only you ain't well. I'm fine. Then you'll do Dutch's bidding which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Well, guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. And take it easy. You could do with a vacation, hmm? <coughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. That son of a bitch. All right, Bill. Have fun, boy. Shut up, Micah. Micah says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Yeah, just let him pass. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. What was you jawing about before? <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Easy. Okay. Let's hold up here. So, wagon will be coming from that way, down from Annisburg. It'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. Right. So, I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of you. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. Okay. Gotta head inside. Rain is making it hard. Coming, Bill. I'm getting, I'm getting stuck on stuff. Let's go, Williamson. All right, let's see if we can get this back to camp without blowing ourselves up. Yeah, definitely. Nice shooting back there. 
Nice trunk plane. Comes <laughs> naturally. Whoa. I could use a drink after that. Ah, uh, no. Just never goes easy no more, does it? Uh, the horses are left behind. I think we're clear, or not much so. Nobody's caught up yet. I didn't mean to kill the horse, shit. Close to Butcher Creek, so we might be in the clear. Here come we now to deal with this. We're leading them right back to camp. There we go. Think I'm doing. Trying my hardest. Okay. I don't see any more. All right. Huh. Oh, that was close. Very close. Don't reckon I'm cut out to be a dynamite wagon driver. <laughs> Killing a bunch of folks so we can rob some dynamite, blow up a bridge. This make any sense to you? It's a distraction. So it ain't meant to make sense. It's supposed to make it sense to us. to us. It's our plan. You know, I've had it with the moment. What's wrong, Arthur? Nothing at all, boss. John, go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. But I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. Right, big picture, definitely. Now I know I got five headshots. I've gotten more than five headshots. Accuracy, maybe not, but... Oh, there's my horse. Come on, boy. Uh-oh, Hamish is back. Well, let's go see about him, shall we? I love him. Hamish is nice. He's all friendly and yeah. just wants to sit around telling stories, living his life as himself. And, and you know what? I can feel it. If I knew I'd be secure in food, I'd build a cabin out in the wilderness and just disappear. It sounds appealing. Probably hard as shit, but it yeah. sounds appealing. Hopefully the rain. The Son of a bitch. Oh, 
Oh, damn. There's a lot more of them than I thought. Them, or we're gonna lose them. Yeah. Probably, uh... yep. oh, that's right. I, I keep forgetting it's not square to reload. What am I being wanted for? I was ambushed. Interrupted. I hope the rain clears up. How you doing, boy? So me and Hamish can have a good day, a good beautiful day, doing whatever it is we're doing. You keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization. <laughs> civilization. Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. <laughs> yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. <laughs> Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Jesus, that thing's huge. Got to hide like cast iron. Lost him. Maybe I should switch to high velocity express. Let's go high velocity. Come on, where are we? Tracks. I got the horses. Come on. Thank you, Hamish. I'm afraid I lost him. It's out of him. Don't worry. Traps go this way. Come on. All right, lead on. The fire's too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Giddy up. He's a big bastard. Big shit. He's been across here twice. What'll we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right, and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Let's split up. You go up, and I'll go onwards. Sounds okay. good. Okay. Good luck to you, sir. Pia! Come on, you. I don't see anything. Ah. 
that a gourd wolf? Just kicked it. Gorn wolves, too. Damn it. Let's get him. Coming, buddy. Yeah, you all right there, boy? There he is. Tracks this way. Hamish. Oh no. God. Oh shit. Hamish. Yeah. I got thrown and a bastard hog got me. <sighs> Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, <clears throat> but he's strong. Son of a bitch! We got him, old man. Oh shit! I'm sorry, Hamish. Come on, Buell. Come on, Buell. Let's go. Let's get. Yeah. I want to put him in a stable, so where's the closest stable? Closest one, I guess, is down here. Yep. I'll take you out riding at one point, Buell. Idiot. Oh my god, what am I stuck on? Yeah. Should not be that hard to get to a road. Alright, my horse is trotting close behind. in a stable, have him take care of you until I can take you out right. Yep. It'll be fun. Plus, I'm not too sure you're used to gunfire like my other horse is. Yeah. Good boy. Yep. 
seems like oh jesus christ that was an accident i did not see him oh my god murder he's dead oh my god i am so sorry Jen. Hello. How's that horse doing? All right, we're gonna. We've got room him. in the stable if you need it. If you ain't got the papers, I can't give you the full price. Um, blankets. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. Good deal. Uh, Iron Cloud. Uh, I do kind of like that. Uh, bedroll. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. So we got something for Sadie down here. Something for John and Rainsfall over here. We got that Magnifico one. And let's do that. And then I think we'll go talk to Rainsfall after the fact. Uh, no, I, ain't, I didn't mean to do that. Actually, is that near anything that I can... I don't think so. Yep. I mean, it's close to Van Horn ish, is it? I think. Yeah, but it's about equidistant from where I am right now, so it doesn't make sense. Yep. burn that place down. Oh well. I do need to find a uh, train station to pay off my bounties at. Yep. Wild boy. Must be him. At least I hope so. Whoa, <laughs> that's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. 
Well, he cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't you? No, that's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. <sighs> okay, this got oh, weird very quickly. She just wants to speak to you. Quit the magic tricks, man. Got the wrong end of this. Hey, Cross you the river. Talk? I'm going in alone. Oblivion. Of course. You're starting to irritate. I didn't mean to pull out the shotgun. What the hell you pulling here? You're here, I'm gonna find you. <laughs> oh, yeah, very clever. Oh, <laughs> that's a neat trick. There we go, it's come here. Where you gone? Search the clearing. Can't magic out of this, partner. Is he in a tree or something? Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. Well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance? Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me! Oh my god. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there! Ah, so damn long, it. dummy! Where are you? Here we go. Really? Really? Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one's said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you two? Okay, that was strange.
That was real strange. <laughs> Uh, no, I didn't. Give me the, give me the map, please. Where am I? Not too far from Van Horn. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, damn it! Let's let's get some of these uh, other bounties off me. <laughs> oh, there's a fence up there. I didn't know. Be up there in a matter of minutes. Already pretty close if I follow the train track. Music turn all ominous and terrifying. <laughs> I don't want to get into a firefight here. Hello, sir. Can I just can't believe all those people dead over a wagon of dynamite. This yeah, place that, keeps going from bad to worse. That happens. You yourself look kind of dead. Mister, You're back again. I see. Incredibly pale. Oh my god. Sell some stuff. Okay. What have you got? Now what's this? Found sitting on a bench somewhere, I suppose. The usual story. I like this guy. <laughs> Just came across this somewhere, huh? Alright, what can I buy I'd from appreciate you? It. My load. Dynamite, fire bottles, hatchet. I already have one. Cleaver. All yours. Oh. Baked beans, canned peaches, predator bait. Oh, well, I'm gonna do weapons first. Or is, is... Thanks. Oh, a hatchet's different. Okay. Any, uh, mass? Might as well there you go. All. Documents got them all. All right. I trust nobody's missing this. Oh, oh Jesus. Let me, uh... Let me take that off. How do I do that? Oh, okay, that worked. All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we do return, we're going to go uh, say hello to, e uh, to Rain's Fall and see what the natives are up to up north. But until then, I thank you so much for watching. And if you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you.